welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar in this lecture we continue studying hal sandhi or the consonant sandhi hal sandhi is the sandhi that substitutes a consonant hal is a consonant we stated that this hal sandhi can be broadly classified into two ekasthanika ekadesha and ekasthanika dvyadesha this is more or less similar to what we did in the at sandhi however at sandhi has dvisthanika ekadesha hal sandhi has ekasthanika dvyadesha so ekasthanika ekadesha means one substituent replaced by one substitute and ekasthanika dvyadesha means one substituent replaced by two substitutes ekasthanika ekadesha can be also classified under two heads purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha and also para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha so para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha is explained in this manner a plus b in the samhita mode b is para a is purva in the environment of b which is para a is substituted by c so this is para nimittaka ekasthanika ek adesh so a plus b is the input and c plus b is the output and we are studying the shtutva sandhi in this regard we studied the sutra shtunashtuhu the sutra shtunashtuhu consists of two padas shtuna and shtuhu 8441 shtuna is 3 slash 1 of shtu shtu is composed of two elements sh and tu tu means ta varga that is tatha dadhana shtuna means in association with or in combination of shtu is 1 slash 1 of shtu and stoho is 6 slash 1 of stu stu means sa and tu tu means ta varga that is tatha dadha na stoho means in place of stu the word stoho continues from 8440 all this put together the sutra means in the close proximity of sounds in the combination of sh and tu in place of stu substitute sh and tu again in the close proximity of sounds that is samhitayam in the combination of sh and tu that is stu and tu stands for tavarga tathadadha na in place of stu that is sa and tu tu means tavarga tavarga stands for tatha dadhana substitute sh and tu that is tavarga that is tatha dadhana we also noted that there is the principle of yatha sankhya that is playing an important role in this particular sutra we noted that in this sutra there is yatha sankhya relation between sthani and adesha or karyi and karya and no yatha sankhya relation exists between the nimitta environment and the sthani or nimitta environment and the adesha there is no yatha sankhya relationship between nimitta and karyi as well as nimitta and karya this is extremely important this can be shown in the form of a diagram in this manner if we have sh2 plus sh 
where shtu is the purva nimitta and sa is the sthani. This sa is substituted by sh. So we have shtu plus sh as the output. Similarly, we have shtu plus na as the input and this na will be substituted by the corresponding fifth consonant in the t varg namely na. Similarly, if you have paranimitta ka ekasthani ka ekadesha where you have sa followed by shtu and this sa will then be substituted by sh and t plus shtu if this is the input then this t will be substituted by the corresponding first member of tavarga namely t. Similarly, if you have the plus shtu, the will be substituted by the corresponding third consonant of tavarga namely d. So, the plus shtu will be the input, d plus shtu will be the output. We also noted down the meaning of shtuna. This is instrumental singular of shtu which is a very peculiar usage because this indicates the environment for the substitution to take place yes, but this case neither indicates only one of the environments either the left hand side or the right hand side. Rather it indicates both left hand side as well as right hand side environments for this substitution to take place. So, shtu will be both left hand side as well as right hand side environment for shtutva sandhi to take place. So, if you have shtu plus stu where shtu is the left hand side environment purva nimittaka and so this stu will still be substituted by shtu and this is called purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. And if you have stu plus shtu where shtu is the paranimitta still this stu will be substituted by shtu and the output would be shtu plus shtu. This is called paranimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha. Here are the template examples. We have tathadadhana plus sh and the substitution is tathadadhana plus sh. And then the right hand side environment changes. In place of sh comes t and the output is tathadadhana same and then th as the right hand side environment and then d and then dh and then na in all these cases tavarga is substituted by tavarga. Let us take each and every template examples and then study the specific examples. First we have tathadadhana followed by sh and the template output is tathadadhana plus sh. In fact this template and its examples are negated by 8443 namely toshi. But this negation indicates that it is expected from the meaning of 8441 only then the negation becomes valid. So we have toshi in which toho is 6 1 of 2 meaning in place of 2, she is 7 slash 1 of sh meaning immediately before sh, na is not, shtuhu is the word that continues. This is 1 slash 1 of shtu meaning substitute shtu. Put together this sutra means immediately before sh, sh consonant. Tu that is tavarga that is tathadadha na is not substituted by tu or tavarga that is tathadadha na. So, if you have san plus shashtaha where there is na here followed by sh here still 8441 cannot apply here 
because of na plus sh combination this is an environment of shtanashtuhu but still it does not apply because of this particular sutra 8443. So, sankshasthaha is not affected, is not paninian. What it means is sankshasthaha remains as it is, sankshasthaha. There is no sandhi that takes place. Now, let us look at some other examples. We have ta followed by ta. So, we have tat plus tika. So, here this ta is substituted by ta. So, we have tat tika and tat tika. Similarly, we have agni mat plus take and the output generated is agni mat take of first then this th is substituted by th agni mat take finally agni mat take then we have pura bhid plus tape and this the is substituted by the so we have pura bhid plus tape and then this the is substituted by the and so finally we get the form pura bhid tape Then we have yudha plus take and this dha will be first substituted by dha and then will be substituted by ta and finally you will get the form yud take. Then we have rajan plus tankaka where this na will be substituted by na and rajan plus tankaka further there is no process that is possible. Then we have tathadadhana plus th as the input 8, 4 and 41 applies and the output generated is tathadadhana plus th. So, we have sat plus thak as a compound. So, samhita is obligatory and so the output generated by 8, 4, 41 is sat plus thak. When we join them together, we get the form sat thak. Similarly, we have math plus thak and the output generated is mud plus thak and then mat plus thak and then finally mat thak. Similarly, you have marud plus thakura and marud has got the which is substituted by the by this sutra marud plus thakura then this the is substituted by the marut thakkura when we join them together we get marut thakkura then we have yudha plus thakkura in which yudha is substituted by the yud plus thakkura finally the is substituted by ta and you get yut plus thakkura that is yut thakkura and finally the sandhi that happens in between two padas. We have san plus thakaraha. Both these padas are separate and this is part of the sentence. So, this is a sentential combination san plus thakaraha. And so, we get san plus thakaraha. And then we get san thakaraha as the finally derived output. Next is tathadadhana plus da. And the output generated by the application of 8441 is tathadadhana plus d. Examples are sat plus dama. And the output generated is sad plus dama. And then we have sad dama. Then we have math plus dema. And the output generated is mud plus dema that is maddema. Then we have tad plus damaru and this d is substituted by d. So, we have tad and damaru and finally we have tad damaru as a compound. Then we have yudh plus depa 
and the output generated is u d plus dep and finally we have u dep. Lastly, we have an example of a sentential combination where we have sun plus dittaha, sun plus dittaha and this na will be substituted by na. So, we have sun and dittaha, sun dittaha that would be the output. Next we have tathadadhana plus dha, sat plus dhundhi, this is a compound. So, samhita is obligatory and so we have sad plus dhundhi, finally we have sad dhundhi where ta is substituted by ta first and then da. So, we have sad plus dhundi, sad dhundi. Finally, we have math plus dhal and we have mad dhal. Then we have udh plus dhaukate and we have the being substituted by the and we have uddhaukate. Then we have yudha plus dhakka and the will be substituted by the and yudha plus dhakka and we will get the form yudhakka. Finally, we have sun plus dhakaraha. This is an example of the external sandhi, sandhi happening between two padas. So, we have na substituted by na, so we have san dhakaraha, san dhakaraha. Then we have examples where tatadadana is followed by na and the output generated is tathadadhana followed by na. So, the examples are like this sat plus nakara and ta will be substituted by ta. So, we have sat plus nakara and then some other rules will apply and we will convert the ta into na and so we will get san plus nakara that is san nakara. There is no other natural word that begins with na and therefore the most common word that is nakara is the only example that we could take in this particular case. So, math plus nakara and tha will be substituted by da plus nakara and da will be substituted by na and so we will get the form man nakara. Similarly, yad nakara, da will be substituted by da first then by na first and so we will get yan nakara. Similar is the case with yudha plus nakara. The will be first substituted by the and so we have yudha plus nakara and then the will be substituted by na and we will get yun nakara. Similarly, we have san plus nakaraha. This is part of a sentence. So, this na will be substituted by na and we will get san nakara, san nakaraha as the output form. Now, we look at the purva nimittaka examples where we have ta plus tathadadhana tha plus tathadadhana etc. as the output and ta plus tathadadhana as the output. So, if we have ta plus tathadadhana, the examples for this template are negated by 8442. 8442 says na padantat toranam, na means not, padantat is 5 slash 1 of padanta at the end of a pada, toho means immediately after two. The words toho and stuhu are continued. 
Stoho means in place of stu, that is sa and tu, tu means tavarga, that is tatha dadha na. And stuhu has got the meaning substitute stu, which is composed of sha and tavarga, and tavarga means tatha dadha na. So, the meaning of napadantattoranam is the following. Immediately after tu, which comes at the end of a pada, stu is not substituted by stu except nam. In this exceptions, two more words are added by the Bhartikakara, namely navati and nagari. Anam navati nagari nam iti vacham. The words navati and nagari are also to be added to the list begins with nam. So, in these three words, the sound na does get substituted by na. So, if we have shat plus nam, and we have shat plus nam, na being substituted by na, and so the negation na padan toho does not apply and na is substituted by na. So, we have shat plus nam and then ta is substituted by shat shan plus nam and so we get shan nam, ta is substituted by na. Similarly, we have shat plus navati. So, na padanta tora nam would negate the stutva of na but because of anam navati nagari namiti vacham, this sutra does not apply in this case. So, shat plus navati, and we have stunashtuhu applying shat plus navati, and then shan plus navati, so that is shan navati. Similarly, shat plus nagari, stunashtuhu does apply because of the negation napadantat toranam. And so we get shat plus nagari, that is shan nagari. So we have a peculiar case over here in these case, these examples, where shtunashtuhu was stating the substitute of na in place of na in these three words. Napadantattuhu was negating it, and a nam reinstated the natva. Here are the observations. Jhalam Jashante plays an important role in these Sandhi derivations. By 8.239, which means at the end of a pada, Jhal, that is all consonants, minus the fifth as well as Yava, R and L, is substituted by Jash, that is the third consonant. This 8.239 is arranged before 8.441 and thereby 8.239 applies first. And in most of the cases, substitutes 1, 2, 3 and 4 of 2 into its third consonant. And then this third consonant becomes an input to 8441 and is substituted by the third of the set of the substitute, namely the tabarga, that is the. In case of the right hand side environment of 5 is Two, that is na, then this output of 8441 becomes an input of 8445 yaro nanasi ke nanasi ko and then this output substitutes the third and the fifth consonant of two namely the and na by the fifth of the two that is tabarga namely na. Given this interrelation of rules, part of 8441 enjoys redundancy. This will be the case in case of other rules as well, which deal with the Hal Sandhi. Arrangement of rules dealing with Hal Sandhi is made in the Asiddha Kanda, in the Ashtadhyayi or in the Paninian grammar. This is a hallmark of Paninian grammar. And finally, 
Almost all the examples of this Sahal Sandhi are those of external as was the case earlier. That is Sandhi between two Padas either as part of the sentence or a compound. Very few internal Sandhi environments are such that they fulfill the conditions of application of 8441. Thank you for your patience.